Mate, just quickly, the injury, how's it all uh, coming along? Yeah, mate, I'm about, uh, I think I'm seven weeks post-op now, so um, they'll, they'll, they told me it would be about a three-month injury, so um, five or six weeks, mate, hopefully you know, I can make a return if I, can, okay. if I can get a spot in the team, so it's pretty exciting, yeah. I was going to say, the boys are flying, it must be, uh, must be a little disappointing to be, I mean, good to watch them win, but yeah. you'd love to be part of it. Oh, especially, you know, la last Sunday, you know, Leichhardt Oval, like, you know, I grew up playing there, I was, I was a bit disappointed I wasn't out there, you know, enjoying the win, but, you know, the boys have been going unreal, so, you know, It'd be, it'd be worse if they, you know, they were getting flogged and I wasn't sure. wasn't in the side. So I'm happy for them, but I'll just, all I got to do is do all I can to get back in the side. So it's you know it's exciting. Mate, just obviously the other day, I think the forwards particularly were just uh, were on fire. I mean, are the guys are they doing anything different? The, the forwards this year or in the team in general? It just it seems like they've just uh, almost grown another leg. Some of the some of those guys. I wouldn't I wouldn't say we've you know we've done too much different in terms of training wise, but definitely with our attitude. Um, I think um, you know boys like Woodsy and, and Farrow are really leading from the front, and then you know the, some of the new recruits, you know Marty Tapao and, and boys like James Gavitt are just getting on the back of it, and you know they're, they're just big boys who you know all they want to do is run the ball and you know smash blokes. So if you just give them a simple job, that's like what they're doing, you know they're going to do it well. So um, no, nah, it's been unreal. Our forwards, you know, if they've dominated, we've won. So I think it's, if boys can keep you know that consistency. I think we'll be a force to be reckoned with. I, can, I guess it can be sometimes. You mentioned a couple of new blokes that can come in and just change the change the vibe around a place a bit yeah definitely they've spiced it up a bit you know it's it's a bit it's a bit fresher now the joint you know we've got a few new boys and um, a few new coaching staff you know we've got you know boys like Toddy Payton and and David Kidwell there you know um, who you know really had a good impact over the off season which is starting to show now so um, yeah no it's, it's really enjoyable to be here you know especially while you're winning so it's obviously uh, I think the young guys particularly at the club there's a lot of a lot of talk around Brooks and Tedesco and these sort of blokes I mean you'd love to be keeping that group together for as long as you can I guess contracts are always talked about I think you're uh, you're signed up till the end of next year is that right yeah well, I'm, I'm, I'm due to bit they've got the boys the club's got the option with me but uh, we're, we're just worried about all you know being in first grade together so sure. if we can all stay together be unreal we come through the grades together and um, you know if we could if we can all stay at the club it'd be unreal I think and is that the sort of feel that you get I mean when you can bring a group of guys like that through together you're sort of playing for your home club I guess it must be a, a pretty special feeling yeah, especially since we're all we're all local juniors too, um, we grew up you know supporting the Tigers and we grew up playing together and plus we're pretty good mates off the field. Which you know, when push comes to shove out in the field, I think that that helps a bit.